the death of the GMC Jimmy V8, and really just the GM Jimmy all, all together. So we almost had a Jimmy SUV, which would have been great. It would have been a Ford Bronco competitor. So here's the story. Back in 2017, General Motors was working on their GMC Jimmy. This would have been cool. My parents almost bought a GMC Jimmy after renting one and heading out to a business trip in Dartmouth. And they really liked it. They loved it. They said it was horrible on fuel. But they didn't care because they, you know, they cared, but they loved it so much. They're like, wow, we really want to buy this vehicle. It was green. Hey, they almost had a green SUV. And, uh, well, it would have been a midsize 4x4 SUV. It would have been a body-on-frame platform like the Bronco. So it would have been, a, it should have been a good off-roader, a good competitor to the Bronco and Jeep Wrangler and Toyota 4Runner. There would have been one extra in the game. More competition means everyone is ends up producing a better product because they say well you know they have this over there toyota has this let's add both to our vehicle just like surprise surprise the wrangler which didn't change for 20 years finally felt threatened by someone they felt threatened by the ford bronco and now the new wranglers have a bigger screen they have a better grill they have a nicer design they change the design are the seats still flat and easy to slide in and not that comfortable? Yeah, but I guess they didn't get our memo on that. But this vehicle doesn't exist and it won't exist. Why? Because GM, in their own words, had to focus on EVs. And I, they didn't use the word had. I'm adding that in, but they... In their, in their words, chose to focus on EV models. So that would have been based on the 32 double X architecture, uh, which is shared with the then upcoming 2023 GMC Canyon. So it would have had the four cylinder that they're now using over in the Canyon. So that would have been interesting because GM has proven to us that a four cylinder can exist even in, in the 1500 series of trucks and do a pretty okay job a pretty decent job so it would have probably been a pretty awesome four-cylinder turbo so that's their 2.7 liter turbo inline four-cylinder gasoline engine uh, that they're they're now calling the turbo max that would have been the standard power plant and there would have been a v8 option because that that is absolutely what the team producing this was pushing for so the team that was working on producing this that were making this in the background and the back scenes have said that you know this thing should have gotten a v8 this thing would have gotten a four cylinder like the canyon but it's not going to happen it would have been a gm exclusive so no chevrolet variant and well the v8 would have made that pretty awesome because the Wrangler has a V8, but as we saw earlier in the live, they have a very expensive overpriced V8. So the 392, what is that, a 6.2 liter or 6.4 liter that Jeep puts in their Wrangler? They produce it in low numbers. And it's a, it's it's it starts at 119,000 Canadian. So it must start about 90,000 US dollars. And then dealers want an upcharge for it because, well, they're not readily available. They're not just mass producing these. They are low in numbers. <clears throat> so it's too bad. So it's fallen victim to the 2019 General Motors pivot towards autonomous and electric vehicles. And they have said that themselves. So that's, that's too bad. EVs are taking over folks they are offering us incredible speed but at what cost it's at the cost of extremely expensive vehicles so that's a hundred thousand us dollars for this so we didn't get a jimmy to go off-road in very wealthy people can afford this <laughs> so this is my one of my concerns as we move towards a forced future of electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles who will be able to afford electric vehicles and where will those electric vehicles allow you to go? Those are my big concerns for the automotive community because these are things that we can rally against. You know, if you don't agree with this, let us know. What are your thoughts? 
do you think that are you really excited for more electric vehicles and less petrol powered vehicles please comment are you comf comfortable with the idea of one day only being allowed and only being offered electric vehicles if you want to buy new and who knows what kind of taxes will come along with buying a used non-electric vehicle these are the things that worry me folks and i want to know do they worry you what do you think the future looks like when it comes to petrol powered vehicles what do you think the future looks like when it comes to electric vehicles do you like them have you driven one? Please let us know in the comments. I want to hear about what you guys have to say.